Good morning, everyone. My name is Dale Dufay. I'm here at Homestead 2. I'm here by myself. Mary's at home, uh, you know, helping her sister settle in. And that's an apartment just below us. Uh, everything's working out really well. Mary's doing fine. She wanted me to do this video outside uh, since I griped so much about the clouds. Um, you know, that's over a month without any sunshine uh, any length of time. But today seems to be uh, somewhat clear. Uh, they're doing some aerosol spraying up there, uh, geoengineering. Uh, that's what I like to call it because that's exactly what it is, uh, geoengineering. That's, uh, you don't get any bigger than that. But it looks like it's going to be a, a nice day here. It's really, I mean, it's chilly hardly any wind they claim there's a wind chill but here in south haven and further south it looks like we're going to have some sun finally uh, but i'm here first thing i'm doing is uh i fed the cats inside so now i'm going to feed the cats outside i bring out a, a big bowl like this because there's a big bowl just underneath this a feral cat shelter that somebody sent us that's a, it was a really good gift i think they're actually using it um i know we put the food you know, right here. You know, just, sometimes we put it like underneath the, the you know, the, the, you know the, for all intents and purposes, it's it's like a box, you know, on legs. Uh, but it looks like uh, they use it. I know they definitely come and feed. And some of the birds eat the food too. The blue jays seem to like it a lot. Uh, not too long ago, before the dumpster came, I, I was cleaning a lot of the garbage out of this area because this is part of our property. I filled up like four big, big construction bags, but I noticed I got a lot more to do out there. Uh, it's going to take a while to clean this property up because some of the previous tenants obviously used it as a, you know, to dump their garbage because they didn't want to pay for the garbage service or whatever, whatever reason they had. Uh, but, oh, I wanted to, you know, maybe in the previous videos you were, uh, hearing us talking about we were waiting for our license plates the handicap license plates for our truck and we finally got them and uh, I want to I want you to tell Mary what you think about the numbers and in the letter I think it's really awesome we, uh, we were because I always get excited and you know, I don't get into numbers that much but you know I do kind of like them I don't study it uh, in other words or but you know but I do think there's a lot to be said about them I know uh, Tesla was really hip on the number three, but this is a really cool plate, isn't it? It's a, it's actually a 50th anniversary. This was how the plates in Michigan looked in 1972. Uh, so this, we were at a very, we caught it right at the end because I think these are going to be a, only available for last year. Uh, so we caught it just in time, uh, but it's cool. What do you guys think about it? I mean, I think it's an awesome plate as far as the color and style and everything uh you know water winter wonderland it's pretty cool uh but the numbers are really cool too 3k7133 you know maybe some of you are into numerology and you can figure out what that means for us also mary wanted me to reminded me you know i don't know if we showed you some of you are familiar with the mailbox we made here but we put like a platform at the end of it and the back of it to put you know decorations so we we put this really cool uh you know winter theme on the back of it you know without being too christmasy you know this side of the tree is red uh, but that's pretty cool isn't it uh, but you know like in the summer you know we had like a pumpkin on there during the fall and things like that so we'll keep the theme going in the spring you know i think we first had a uh, mums on there uh, a really nice plant on there so it's what's cool is you can do all kinds of things on that she reminded me to show you guys i don't think we ever showed it but it's been on there for quite a while after the pumpkin kind of went bad but yeah we were excited about the plates you know about getting them and handicapped because we had a placard we always had to put up uh, now we don't have to worry about that we got nice handicapped plates because as many of you know and for those of you who do not know uh, mary is recovering from a massive stroke uh, she had a few years ago. Well, it's been, geez, going on five years ago now, but uh, uh, she actually died and had a near-death experience. She was dead for seven minutes, uh, but uh, she came out of it and 
and uh, I'm her caregiver and, and taking care of her. And, but she doesn't need too much care because she's very, you know, she's a fiercely independent person and she's doing really good. She's um, losing weight. I noticed, was noticing yesterday how good she looked. Uh, so she's just doing fantastic. And, uh, but she still has problems, you know, articulating words and bringing her thoughts out, you know, you know, cause it's hard to, to get her thoughts out into words, you know, and that's what she's having difficulty with. So if you see her kind of slow in some of the videos when she's talking, uh, that's why, cause she's recovering from a stroke. And that's also why we have a handicapped license plate. Uh, cause she's never going to be able to drive again. Uh, but boy, this siding sure looks nice, doesn't it? I mean, it's holding up really good. Uh, we're, uh, you know, really, really, you know, just yesterday I was commenting, you know, how much I like the color still. You know, if you if you pick a color and you still like it months later, that means you did a pretty good job. But it looks good on this trailer, you know. And then, of course, we have to finish this addition part. Uh, we have most of the back done, the trailer part of the back, but we got to do the back of of this addition here and then also um you know this this side here with the driveway but i sure certainly want to get some gravel here first so they don't splash it all over the new siding you can see how it's splashed even even here on the you know the house wrap uh, but that's all we got to do you know the back side of that and uh finish it up uh, we have enough material and everything it's just a matter of time we're going to do the deck in the back here real soon in the back part maybe i can see if we got time i'm going on seven minutes here but real quick i want to show you where we're going to do the the back deck or the east side or whatever you want to refer to it as uh, but right where that ledger board is just under the door you know we got that flashed real nice just like we did in the other side for the decking but that's all ready to go for a 12 foot deck and we're going to come out eight feet and then probably put the steps right about up here facing that way uh, but while i'm here i might as well show you how the back's holding up uh, everything's holding up really good really good. and it's been through a lot i know ice coming down off the roof uh, but here's the back you know here's the soffit looks nice here that's how we're going to do the soffit on the other side we're going to do white vinyl uh, but this this all looks really nice buttoned up really tight uh, the crawl space is doing good uh, there's that might look like you can get in in that area but you can't because that's all blocked off uh, so we you know we got to get the windows yet too we're gonna get uh, two windows for the back here to match these windows and then side it and we're ready to go so with that I thank you for watching and I'll talk at you later love you